Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me for another Curvy Girl Styling Tips Reel um, and today we are going to be talking about jeans which is probably my most, the video that I'm most excited for obviously because as a curvy girl we really really struggle with jeans it's probably the thing we struggle with the most to get something to fit really well and to feel really nice in it so I'm excited to show you the pairs that I have because honestly I'm obsessed with these. Also, we're going to be specifically talking styles as well, so it's not necessarily that you have to go out and buy these specific jeans, but just really look for these styles of jeans because they're just so good on the curvy figure and so flattering. They're also good on any figure, again, I know I always say this, but they really are good on any figure and look amazing on any body type. It's just obviously I'm going to be offering some curvy girl styling tips while we um, chat through it in this video. I also have a little bit of a cold today, if you can hear that in my voice <laughs> having um a toddler definitely means you get way more illnesses than not having a child at all so yay for me with that <laughs> so what you can expect from today's video is for me to show you my five favorite jeans and styles of jeans and um, also show you the fit talk about sizing and then obviously show you how i would style them both casually and also a more elevated look which is what i tend to do in these videos the way that I style myself and the way that I like to style, I guess, others when I get the opportunity to do that is a kind of full oversized look and then a more kind of form-fitting but very balanced look. It's never going to be fully form-fitting. We're going to have kind of oversized either on the top half or the lower half, but it'll be a slightly more form-fitting look and that's really just my style and how I like to dress. And as a reminder of me, so I am a size UK 12 to 14, I am 5 foot 6 and I had a baby 15 months ago so I definitely have some insecurities around my mum tum area which I most definitely have that I definitely didn't used to have so a lot of the styling I will be doing will be kind of taking that into account um, and just I mean we're not trying to hide things we're all beautiful we all have beautiful bodies but really just accentuating I guess what I'm happier with than what I'm kind of less happy with. Everything that I am wearing today I will link in the comments section below, um, I'll also include sizing in there um, and this little outfit I'll just show you quickly, so this is a Jill Sander t-shirt, I got this about six years ago I think from the men's section because it was before the women's section had one of these but it's such a good t-shirt, such a staple, yes it's pricey but for the amount I've worn it and for the amount of time I've had it I just think it's totally worth it for me. Um, so obviously I will link that. I just think a graphic t-shirt is so, an oversized graphic t-shirt is so easy to wear and style, especially with jeans. Now we're getting into jeans. So the first style of jean has got to be a wide leg jean. This is probably my most worn and most loved type of jean in my wardrobe. They just work with so many things. They work so well casually and they work so well elevated as well. Now, when we're talking about most of these jeans in this video, probably bar one, um, I'm gonna be talking about high-waisted. And again, with wide leg jeans, we're definitely talking about high-waisted. When you're curvier, having that wide leg fit and then a high-waisted style is honestly so flattering, I cannot tell you. It elongates your legs, it elongates your torso, it elongates your body, which is honestly such a beautiful, flattering fit when you're curvier. So with a wide leg pair of jeans, you can definitely afford to go for something a little slimmer on the top or at least something a little bit cropped. Now, I am a crop top girly. <laughs> I am slightly less so since I've had my baby and because I'm not as comfortable as I was with kind of my midsection and my stomach but I still love to style crop tops and it's still very much part of who I am. I just style them in a different way. So I absolutely love a wide leg denim with quite a small kind of bra look crop top and then an oversized shirt over the top. I've spoken about this in my previous videos but it really is so flattering when you're curvier to wear something kind of oversized over something smaller and crop because you're just showing that kind of midsection of stomach and really it's so flattering especially with a very high waist denim and again because this is a wide leg denim it really balances out, out your proportions beautifully now 
yeah it's probably a bit of a scary look and something that's not for everybody but honestly try it it's so much less scary when you've kind of got that oversized layer over the top whether or not that it's a, a, an oversized shirt or an oversized blazer this also works beautifully for a, a night outlook so an oversized blazer over a little kind of crop top and some wide leg jeans is just such a lovely look now as i want this as a casual look and um, then i'll absolutely wear this with trainers i love the added assemblies with just kind of the very clear samba toe poking out from a wide leg jean with a casual look i just think it looks so nice there's so many ways that you can elevate a wide leg jean there really is and i think that you can elevate different washes of jeans as well so i know i'm showing you kind of a light wash jean here but i also love a wide leg denim in um a, a pale gray or a wash black or even a dark blue actually especially this time of year when the denims kind of seem to be a little bit darker and then obviously we go into a more spring summer season when they're a bit lighter but honestly elevating or pale denim is also really really easy to do now my elevated looks a lot of the time are more about kind of elevating with really nice accessories so like a sparkly bag or like a strappy high sandal that's how I really like to elevate quite a simple look that could be quite casual and this is probably a very good example of it so a black fitted cardigan and this one was from H&M is so beautiful with a wide leg denim I've shown this before how I kind of keep the bottom couple of buttons open show that tiny section of, of your skin of your stomach and honestly it's such a flattering look and um, this cardigan is from H&M as I said and it's actually a size small I would never ever wear a size small like I'm a larger and extra large in the UK so like a 12 or a 14 but honestly having this in the small just makes it that little bit more flat fitted which is honestly so so flattering on a curvy figure and obviously this outfit looks really amazing with some kind of elevated accessories um a really nice pair of big earrings which is kind of my thing at the minute and yeah it's a really beautiful elevated look so next i want to talk about the tapered leg jean now specifically i'm thinking of a more wide leg jean that is tapered at the bottom this is a jean that i think we're going to see a lot of this year and it's a silhouette that i absolutely love and i think is so flattering on a curvy figure now the proportions of these jeans is a definite high waist and a cropped leg and that's really where you're going to get that really beautiful flattering look because it gives you volume around your hips and um, which makes your waist look a lot smaller now these jeans are from a brand called beyond nine i've spoken about this brand before it's an amazing brand because they do fits for um, women who are not pregnant but who also actually are pregnant and have kind of just had a baby so a lot of the fits are quite flexible so this is why you kind of see this elasticated waist on these jeans but honestly pregnant or not pregnant obviously I'm not pregnant <laughs> They're so flattering on your waist when you've got something that's like elasticated and more volume around your hips. This is why I absolutely love these jeans. So for the casual look, I really want to style a full oversized look. And I absolutely love a denim on denim look. Again, this is not trend led at all. This is just something I have always loved. And I think we used to in the past really want to match the denim colours perfectly. But I like it if they're slightly different. And this is this oversized denim shirt is from um, Beyond Nine again. And it's really beautiful and oversized. I think if you're going to go for full oversized, you've got to go for quite oversized. Like these fits need to be quite oversized. So you don't want anything that's even remotely form fitting here you want to see a really oversized look now as these jeans are cropped i'm always going to go for a pump um or a loafer and then when the weather gets warmer a sandal i find it awkward to style a crop jean with a trainer now i do see it done and i think it looks really good i don't know if it's like because i'm curvier it kind of just makes me look dumpy for me i want to be able to see the gap of my ankle which is obviously the slimmest part of my leg and um, in between your kind of shoe and your uh, bottom of your jean and for me the best way to do that is with a pump or with a loafer when i do it with a trainer you kind of want to suck or it comes a bit higher up your ankle it's just not as flattering for an elevated look with these trousers as there is quite a lot of volume obviously as i said around the hip area you really need something slim on top and that's why I want to show you with this kind of sheer knitted 
slim fitting top that I got from Massimo Duty very recently actually so definitely still there I can definitely link for you this is such a beautiful top to kind of elevate an outfit I would also wear this casually as well I did have a cost version in the winter month I know we're still kind of in winter but we're going towards spring which had a polo neck which I loved but I wanted a version that would kind of go into spring a little bit easier so that's obviously why I got this one from Massimo Duty I also love the kind of layered effect almost looks like you've got a vest up over the top and I just think that's just such a lovely look but yeah keeping something more form fitted with these jeans when you're kind of going for an elevated look is going to look smarter and um, it's going to look better on your body and it's going to make your proportions look better and again with this type of thing this outfit could be quite casual like I actually probably would wear this with a pair of pumps or loafers and wear it in the day with kind of an oversized jacket over the top but to elevate this I'm absolutely going to be looking at really dressy accessories so high heel shoes really nice jewelry and kind of a glitzy bag and that will absolutely take this type of outfit from quite casual to a more elevated look and a more kind of if you're going for dinner or you're going for a date night look again this is probably not going to be your full glam outfit but for a really easy date night or a brunch with the girls um, or something like that this is going to work really really well so the next style of jean I want to talk about is the straight leg jean but this is a more of a slim straight leg so specifically these jeans I'm going to show you are vintage 501s and the vintage 501 silhouette or style of jean has really been around forever obviously I mean talking about Levi's 501s obviously <laughs> um, it's been around for a very long time I've been wearing 501s for years in various different sizes obviously because I have been various different sizes <laughs> and they're really not a trend led piece at all they're just something that really slots into your wardrobe beautifully as I said they are a slimmer fitting jean so they're slimmer fitting on your legs and they have a more of a mid waist rise which is not as flattering as the other jean styles I'm going to show you but definitely have a place in your wardrobe and definitely fit in beautiful and can be super flattering if you style them obviously in a specific way which I will of course show you. As these jeans are a vintage jean and a vintage style jean the kind of wash that I like to go for is more of a pale blue vintage wash or kind of a washed black um, uh, or a dark grey which is absolutely what absolutely what I'm going to show you today I just think this type of jean obviously being vintage if you go kind of more down that vintage route with how these look I think it's just such a beautiful look for a pair of jeans like this now I have got these jeans in a waist 34 now I don't think I would technically be, I would probably, if I was looking at kind of a modern style of jean, I would be a waist 30, maybe a waist 31, but because these are vintage and obviously that more mid-waist rise, and that's unisex, these jeans are of course unisex, then a waist 34 is what I have to have to fit me right in a 501. So obviously just take that into account when you're um, buying these type of jeans. Now, I actually got these jeans from a, um, a brand called Pin Denim, and they will source your jeans based on your measurements. Now, I just bought these off the website and kind of guessed that they would be right for me, and they are, which is lucky, but it's best that you kind of measure yourself with these type of vintage jeans so you know they're gonna fit right for you. I also had these tailored and cropped because I wanted a crop fit in these with the leg being that little bit slimmer. I think it just looks a lot better if these are cropped um, so yeah that's why I went and had them tailored and now they're like really are the perfect 501s for me. As mentioned before these jeans have a mid waist rise. Now that isn't as flattering for someone who is curvier especially as someone who um, has a mom tum and obviously likes to cover that up a little bit more. So when I'm styling these jeans I try to make sure that whatever I'm styling them with I have a little bit more volume around my midsection and as they are a slimmer fitting jean that actually works really well when you're styling something so for the casual look I would often wear these jeans with something that's more oversized on the top and I would French tuck at the front just to give your your shape and your figure that little bit more definition and um, give you kind of a nicer proportion. So I'm obviously wearing this oversized Yves Saint Laurent t-shirt 
French tucking at the front and then I would throw on an oversized leather biker over the top um, just to have a more oversized fit and then obviously the slim silhou silhouette at the bottom with the jeans I just think that looks so so nice and then of course because these jeans are cropped I'm going to go for a loafer or a pump because um, I just think that looks so nice. These slimmer fitting jeans are actually so easy to elevate because obviously with the slimmer fit they're a little bit more dressy. Obviously we're going for a more casual wash but I absolutely love, I'm going to use that same word again, <laughs> I love the juxtaposition of um, wearing this type of jean which is a more casual wash um, for kind of a nighttime look and really dressing up. I just think it looks so nice, it's very much my style which is kind of like always a casual element but then elevating it with obviously the accessories that you wear um, and that's why I want to show you this nighttime look with this feather top again we've got the um, volume around the midsection because these jeans are mid waist so having that volume around the midsection obviously helps hide the stomach um, it detracts obviously away from your stomach and shows kind of slimmer hip silhouette and then obviously the more oversized um, feathers that kind of go over the top of your stomach and skim over your stomach and I just think this top like feathers for night are a vibe like such a vibe such a good look and I absolutely if I get an opportunity I'll style this top this top is from May Match Match oh, I always get this wrong Match um, I'm not sure if they still stock it but I will find some ones that are similar um, and obviously share the link for you in the comments below and because it's such a beautiful top and I know I will have this in my wardrobe forever and again I want to make sure I'm styling with really beautiful accessories um, heel pointy shoes and, and then a really nice bag for night and yeah it's just a really beautiful elevated look um, to you go on a date night or with your friends so a crop jean really has become a staple in my wardrobe recently and it's something that I have kind of been more drawn to recently maybe because we're seeing such a trend for kind of ballerina shoes and um, loafers I mean loafers have been around for a long time but definitely ballerina shoes and the best way really to wear those is with um, crop jeans or crop trousers so that maybe is why I've kind of been more drawn to them recently now a crop jean is a little bit more form fitting over the kind of stomach and the hips area so really for me there is only one brand that does this really really well and that is the Abercrombie Curve Love range. Now there is more room in the hip and the bum area and the leg area but the waist is kind of true to size so when people are buying these jeans I always say measure your waist size and then go for the size based on that so I wear a 30 in these jeans and that's what I'm wearing in these jeans I'm showing you now and they fit perfect for them perfectly for me I think I have a waist size in between the 30 and 31 inches so that is um I've chosen a 13 because there's a bit of stretch in these jeans you can kind of go a little bit down if that makes sense um now what I love about the Abercrombie Curve Love jeans is they look like a rigid denim but they're not they have stretch in them I don't like a stretch denim at all I like a rigid denim which is a nightmare if you're curvy because rigid denim on curves often doesn't work you have gaping at the waist um, things are too tight across the legs across the stomach across the bum so often it's a nightmare when I've decided I don't like stretch jeans but this is where the Abercrombie jeans really really come into their own and really are the best type of jeans for curves I know I keep going on about that I've never worked with Abercrombie please I know I have years ago but not for a very long time please work with me Abercrombie because I love your jeans and I go on about them enough to be working with you so this you know is my opinion my genuine opinion of how I feel about these jeans because they really are the best I love to sell these jeans with a more kind of fitted t-shirt um, and then a jacket over the top and um, just to give you a bit of coverage because obviously with the jeans being more fitted and the t-shirt bum with more fitted this kind of very fitted look which is not really my style which is why I like to wear um, a jacket over the top and um, a slightly longer jacket that kind of comes down over my hips or an oversized jacket now this jacket is from H&M and has kind of the waisted silhouette which I am so obsessed with this season so we're seeing a more form fitted jacket this season it still has an oversized element but we're seeing a more wasted look and this is what I absolutely love about this 
H&M jacket um, because it has that waisted silhouette and it's just such a flattering silhouette on a curvy body, especially if you're wearing something more form-fitted underneath and then you throw this jacket over the top. It looks amazing for actually a more elevated look, especially if you have a more waisted blazer. This is something on my wish list, by the way, and I have one that I'm going to get hopefully for the next video so I can show you guys. Um, but it's a really beautiful fit and looks so nice casually and also so nice elevated. Now, again, because these jeans are cropped, I am going to wear a pair of pumps or a pair of loafers with it um, for the day casually because it looks so nice. Probably worth saying that these jeans from Abercrombie, I bought in a waist 30 but a short leg. Now that's what will give me this cropped look. And these are the 90s relaxed style. Um, so they aren't, on the model, they aren't this cropped, but obviously getting a short leg has meant that they're cropped on me, which is exactly what I wanted. For an elevated look, I had to, had to, had to go for a form-fitting waistcoat and a oversized blazer and I just love this look I've shown you this type of look before um, and I just think it looks so beautiful with obviously a pair of heels and then a really nice going outy bag and um, this waistcoat is from Zara I've had this for absolutely ages but they always do kind of a similar version so I will link and then the oversized blazer is a Frankie shop blazer which is such beautiful quality and just something I will have forever um, but definitely an elevated look that is really a go-to for me. So the final style of jeans I want to talk about is the and we're going to be talking about a straight leg denim again but this is a wider straight leg whereas before we were talking about a slimmer straight leg this has definitely got a wider fit. It's going to be longer in the legs, so we're not going to have a crop fit. It's kind of, kind of going to go over our shoes. And then definitely, again, we're going to be talking about a high-waisted fit. Now, these jeans are from Cost Stores, and I have them in a 30, and which I think is a 12. Now, if you see these jeans on the model online, it's a lot more baggy look. So I think she's kind of sized up and gone down that more baggy route. But obviously she's a lot smaller than me. And that look kind of looks good on her. But on me, having something that's a little bit more form-fitted in these jeans is so flattering. I actually tried these on the store and I was like, I adore them. I just love how they look. They're very high-waisted, which again is very, very flattering. And the straight leg, which is a bit wider, obviously has quite a long leg. So um, obviously you have to be careful when you're wearing flats, these will kind of touch the floor. So just make sure it's not like a really dirty day. <laughs> but they also work really well with heels as well. And that kind of long leg um, in the jeans is really flattering and elongating when you're curvier. So styling these jeans casually has got to be my pinnacle of mom outfits. And I love to wear them with an oversized sweatshirt. It is just such a look for me. I wear this like at least once or twice a week because it's just so easy and comfy and you can sit in kind of baby classes and know she's actually a toddler toddler classes you can run around after your child and it's just so easy this sweatshirt i'm wearing is from anine bing and the quality of these are so good they wash so well it makes me sound so old and boring when i talk about how things wash but the worst thing ever when you have a sweatshirt or something like that you wash it either the print goes funny it goes faded or it shrinks and it and sometimes you've obviously paid a lot of money for these things but these new bing ones are obviously on the pricier side but they wash so beautifully um this i'm wearing a size large so or is it an xl i'll link it down below it's either a large or an xl because i wanted it kind of in the most oversized style but they are oversized styles anyway so you know you're always going to get like an oversized fit and then I would wear this with trainers because it's just super, super casual, easy, easy look. It's really easy to elevate these jeans and I love elevating this kind of dark black, dark grey washed look jean. I think it looks so nice. And I would wear with a long line waistcoat, which is something again we're seeing loads of this season. And there's another one I have my eye on, which hopefully I'll show you again next week. Um, but this one I got from Cost in the summer. Um, I'm not sure if it's still available, but I'll link others if it isn't. Um, and again, it's such a flattering fit because it kind of shows that tiny little bit of stomach above where you've got your really nice sitting high-waisted jeans. And it's such a beautiful, beautiful waistcoat. I throw an oversized blazer, obviously, if I'm going 
um, for a night out or a date night, put on some really nice heeled shoes, take a lovely bag with me, um, and yeah, it's just such a beautiful, easy look. It's basically jeans and a nice top, isn't it? And can you go wrong with jeans and a nice top? I mean, that's all my elevator <laughs> looks, actually. Jeans and a nice top. So thank you so much for watching today, guys. I really, really enjoy doing these. As I said, I'm quite new to this, but every time I do them, I think they get better. And every time I do them, I enjoy them more, which I'm absolutely loving. Um, you can obviously find all the pieces linked below um, and all the sizing there that I've spoken about. And I am on TikTok, I'm on Instagram, I'm Instagram OG. And it's kind of my place where I have grown and where I have been most active. But yeah, YouTube is, is really exciting for me. And next week, we're going to be looking at jackets. Um, and then some styling tips around jackets. I'm kind of moving away from coats because we're going into kind of spring and I'm just over coats. And it's, I'm, do you know what? I'm sat here and I'm freezing as well. So in the UK, we are definitely not out of the cold weather yet. But I'm looking forward. I'm going to more a string, a spring styling, which is why I'm not going to talk coats. I'm going to talk specifically um jackets next week and yeah i will see you then